here. I want to thank you for the invitation. It is a very solemn day of remembrance. It's one that is something that happened in our lifetimes that we will never forget. And we're here for that very purpose, to make sure that we never forget the loss that we endured on September 11, 2001. And on that day, it was a day eerily similar to today, where the temperature was absolutely perfect. The skies were cobalt blue, and it felt like a good, strong, friendly day, good day to be alive. We were viciously attacked, attacked in a senseless act of terrorism. Our lives have changed forever. And if you take just a few moments to think back before September 11, 2001, what your life was like. You can walk onto an airplane with a, with a cigarette lighter. You can walk into a stadium without being frisked. It happened on September 11, 2001 changed our lives, changed our culture, and changed our determination. So today we're here as a day for all of us to reflect, to honor, and to respect the memory of the people, the innocent people, the firefighters, the enforcement officers, and all of those who lost their lives and died at the hands of the terrorists in Massachusetts, uh, sorry, in Manhattan, in Pennsylvania, and in Washington, D.C. Nearly 3,000 innocent men, women, and children of every race, religion, ethnicity, including several Stanford residents, were lost on that day. First responders, like yourselves, responded and made the supreme sacrifice. They did what they were trained to do. They did what they were committed to do. They did it in the line of duty to protect us, to protect others. No group has ever embodied the devotion and service more than the firefighters and all other first responders that acted so boldly, so hero heroistically, so bravely on that day. And on that day, the beautiful blue skies like we have today turned black. But out of darkness came goodness, so much goodness. We must never forget the families who continue to grieve and must always remember those individuals who lost their lives. So today, we're here to continue the memory of all of those on this memorable day, September 11th, 11 years after the attack on our country. And I want to thank Stanford Fire and Rescue, its members, its command staff, I want to thank the clergy, I want to thank our elected representatives who are in attendance here today, as well as my cabinet, and I want to thank the press for being here to continue the memory, and I want to thank each and every one of you for being here to help continue the memory of something we must never forget. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Pavian. Next, I'd like to introduce